Fun day. Fun day. <laughs> Every time I go on the uh, bike, every time I go on the bike, I'm uh, my hair it like flattens like a pancake, um, and I don't think there's any um, any way around that. But yeah, so this week has been a very busy week. I had a cousin that came over, which was awesome. It's good to see family. We've been having a lot of visitors, which is great. I uh, also got a chance to spend some time with some teachers, some Vietnamese teachers at Learning Together, which is awesome. So I got to share a little bit about poetry and how I set up poetry in the classroom, which was great. And we went for brunch. Both Naren and I decided that Sunday was going to be a brunch day and we went to a place called Milk and Honey, and it was lovely. She had some toast, bread, and avocado. I'm not a big soggy kind of person. She is. I had the chicken and waffles, which I loved and ate um, dearly. And I did write a little bit this week. And you know what got me inspired? Uh, we got to speak I didn't get to speak. Well, I kind of got to speak with him. But we had a keynote at the Learning Together conference at uh, our school. And Min Le had a chance to speak with us. And he just talked about his life, his writing journey, and his family. And it just inspired me to, to kind of get back at it again. I had been a little bit busy the last few weeks, so I hadn't really done any writing. So I did sit with my second manuscript and I started to flush out some ideas, um, brainstorm a few more concepts, and I got a line done that I'm proud of. <laughs> Very proud of. I also got to talk to some family at home, which is great. I'm still trying to keep up with that and talk to them as much as possible. I got to also talk to one of my great friends, Patrick Harris, and I just enjoy him a lot. He has a book oh, that I think I actually can show you here. He has a book called The First Five, A Love Letter to Teachers. And I'm not gonna give you a review, but I will say if you are a teacher, you have to read it. It's just like a must. Um, and I'm not just plugging this book because he's my friend and he knows this, but it is a phenomenal book. And it talks about his first five years of teaching. And he really unpacks some of the things that teachers go through. And I think it is such an important book for educators to read today. And it will be a very, very important book for us to read five, ten years from now as well. It is creative. It is intelligent. It is smart. It is brave. It is all the things. But it is highly, highly, highly recommended um, because of the, the greatness and the writing and the storytelling. He is an amazing storyteller. So check it out. I will put the link or I will tag him in this so you can check what out, check out what he's doing. But I had a chance to talk with him today. We usually would talk a lot, I think last year, mainly because we, <clears throat> or I was off school. Um, I haven't had a chance to talk to him a little bit, but I really enjoy just catching up with him. Life is good. Life is good. Life is really good. So end of the month is coming. That marketing meeting that I talked about a few weeks ago is coming up. I'm excited for it. No idea what's going to happen. But the writing is picking up a little bit because I'm starting to feel inspired by a few friends of mine. So other than that, I hope you are well. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for kicking it. Until next time, peace.